Hello, welcome to Roger City and the Roger City Theater. I'm Carl Heidemann, the owner of the theater building. I love movies, I love what I'm doing, and I've operated the theater for the past 10 years. The Roger City Theater has run continuously for 75 years as a first run movie theater. But Hollywood has just thrown us a curveball, and I need your help. Richard, yeah. I want you to say goodbye to your platter system and your projector. You nursed that for 40 years. It's been great for me for 10 years, but it's all obsolete. Carl, we got to go digital. Hollywood won't send us film anymore. Carl, I can't believe this can happen in all the small communities all over. Just imagine what an important part of the community a theater is like this. You and I think the same along that line. <laughs> and Carl, that marquee out in front is so unique. It's gorgeous. How do you yeah. like the way we got the new chase system working the way it did in 1937? Oh my God, I love it! <laughs> and for a, for a building like this, Carl, to close in our community, it's, it's, a, it's an absolute shame. And I can't see it happening. Well, we hope it's not going to happen. We've got to do something to keep this theater going, Carl. We Whatever it takes, we got to do it. Rachel is spearheading an effort here to raise funds for a digital projector for this theater. And if we don't get the funds and don't get the projector, you can kiss movies in Roger City goodbye. So I want to be one who helps and urges uh, participation by as many people and customers and, and businesses and corporations to help us raise the funds necessary to get this projected because we want to keep movies in Roger City. I think it would be a real shame to see this theater close. I've worked here for quite some time and I really like it and I think it'd be awesome for people to help and pitch in for our new projector. Hi, Lawrence Anderson here. Back in the late 40s, me and my cousins used to sneak in this bathroom window here. We had a window war and a window E. If you were too big, you had to come in and pay, and then you open the window for the little ones. And then when the little ones grow up, the tradition was that you go in and pay, and then you open the window. I've done both, and I'm so ashamed. Uh, and I want to make this right by making a contribution to the new equipment that's needed here. So if you've ever snuck into a drive-in, if you've ever pretended like you were retching and poured vegetable soup over the balcony, then you need to get in on this and make it right. I'm getting my checkbook out right now. This is my good friend Ann Bellinger, award-winning film documentarian. Thank you, Carl. It's good to be here today. Well, I was so excited to be able to premiere two of your films, world premieres, right here in the Roger City Theater. You know, we premiered November Requiem here in 2008 to a packed house. It was a world premiere. And then just this past year, we, we premiered uh, A Century in Stone, yes. which uh, now has gone on to PBS and uh, an Emmy Award winning on both, both uh, DVDs. The exciting thing was when we premiered it, the world premiere right here at the Roger City Theater, we had a packed house. Uh, actually, we ran it for a week, the first one, and uh, the second one, also a packed house. There's nothing more thrilling to me than to see a theater full of people sitting there in the dark with total strangers yes. and experiencing those human emotions together. Absolutely. Not only was it the locals that came to the, the premieres and to the film, but also it was from all over Northeast Michigan. Uh, you know, we had such a tremendous response from that, and I think that for the future, we can do even more. There's film festival possibilities here. I here. would be so excited to have a film festival here. It's you know what, we can do it if we get the digital projector. Well, they have the, you know, your regular popcorn, candy, but they also have an ice cream shop, and there are no other movie theaters I've ever been in where you can get your ice cream cone and walk into the movie theater. Um, and my sister had uh, even brought in her carry-out dinner because she wasn't able to make the show on time and eat dinner, and they welcomed her to bring in her carry-out dinner. We love this theater. It's one of the things that drew us to this town. I call it the little gem of Roger City because it is a true treasure to this town to have this great theater, not only for movies, but the community theater groups and all the activities that go here. It's a wonderful source of entertainment for our community. And we're hoping for many years to keep the movies coming. We cannot let the movie theater close. We've got to keep it open. Hello, we're outside the Rogers City Theater 
because we are raising funds to get a new digital projector. I've only been involved in the community for about five years, but this theater really makes a difference. With a digital projector, it can stay first run, we can show 3D movies, we can have other kinds of entertainment. So if you're seeing this video, if you're seeing this Kickstarter video, please donate. Tell your friends to donate, it's a real gem, and then it'll be here when you come and visit Rogers City. Please donate and help us save the Rogers City Movie Theater. It's a gem that the city doesn't want to lose, and it's definitely part of the city's culture. So please donate something and help us out. If you can donate, please do, and help us save our theater. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Let's, Let's get, get that, that digital, digital projector. projector now. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. <laughs>